All right, so the next step will be that we try to play three chords out of the six chords we have, namely E minor, A minor, D, that's one part, the other part is G major, C major, and D7. So let's divide these three chords, three chords. I play three, you play three. And then let's start with fingering, with, uh, fingering three often again. This side of the fretboard up to the seventh fret. Same thing, let's do it. One, two, one, two, three, four.
now this is for the starting you playing first three chords. Now let, let's do the opposite because when the when the chord progression flat six keeps on nine chords, you have to know how to do Sierra uh, to play a remate there, closure that will will indicate that we are uh, putting a, a final dot to the statement. Because this is like telling a story, actually what you have to do in, in, in creativity, in solo, solo in playing. So, now let's play, you play now the, the last three chords, G, C, and B7, and I play the first. Three. Same, fingering, three. Number seven. One, two, one, two, three, four.
two chords are essential. So even the band are playing, you have to play one part or, or the other, you should train it. This before. So <laughs> this is yes, because this is our laboratory. That's what we are training now. This is when when mistakes or stop will come there, pointing out your lack of knowledge of certain fingering, or you will notice as it's true for most of us that we are stronger in one fingering than in the other. And that's also okay because I also prefer some fingerings over the other, but we have to know how to play it with all them well. So uh, next lesson we will continue with the fingerings. Still to gradually approach this small thing and then we will include more skates. So practice that and I see you next time.